Hi guys, this is going to be a review for the Avionic RCB7X transmitter from RC Bazaar. And as you can see, this is how it comes in in a box. Here are some of the features mentioned. And now we're going to open it up and see what's inside. Okay, as you can see here, there's a white box and in here we have a RC Bazaar neck strap, transmitter neck strap. This is the wireless and USB dongle and wire. This is the transmitter antenna and uh, this is the receiver, the 7 channel receiver. Here's the transmitter and behind this is CD but let's check out the transmitter first and this is the instruction manual and the software DVD that comes with this uh, remote as you guys can see this is what comes in the box with the new RCB7X from RC Bazaar. As you can see guys, I have powered on the transmitter and firstly, uh, the thing that comes to my mind is that it just looks like the DX7, the Spectrum DX7, which is a good thing. And um, the thing I like is that it feels, the sticks feel just as my DXXI, Spectrum DXXI right here. It just has the same feel. Now some important features uh, to note in this radio is that it has digital trims. It has 7 model memory. Uh, the box states 8 but it is actually a uh, 7 so this transmitter has 7 model memory it supports heli and acro modes and the feature that I always wanted is 3 position flight switch right here for heli guys and for airplane guys this means 3 position flap switch Um, another feature that I did like about this radio is the throttle activated timer. You can set that to percentage where uh, supposingly you move the throttle to 30% the timer activates and if you go below that the timer again stops which is a neat feature unlike the DX6i right here which you have to assign the throttle cut or the trainer switch back here to start the timer which is quite annoying so as you can see this is the main menu and to enter this you got to press the down select and then power on the transmitter it brings you straight up to the model select page and as you can see so model 2, 3, 4, 7 and 1. So there are 7 uh, models that you can select which is actually quite neat. And here uh, you can enter your model name, 
select heli or acro mode this is your data reset page total recovery and transmitter mode the best and the neatest part of this transmitter is actually the mode select uh, whether you can you can make this transmitter into a mode 1 transmitter mode 2 mode 3 or mode 4 you can use it as any mode as per your preference and you do not need to buy another transmitter just for a different mode as you can see the spectrum this is a mode 2 transmitter and I can't just change it to mode 1 even if I like because this is a mode 2 only transmitter this is one of the neat features in this radio as you do not need to change your transmitter to get a different mode another neat feature which is also not available in the spectrum dx7 is the channel assign switch uh, I mean the channel assign menu where you can assign any of these functions to any channel I can have the throttle at channel 3 if I want I can have the rudder to channel 1 if I want you, you, you can just change these channels to anything as you desire another neat feature is the wireless trainer function where you do not need a wire like the Spectrum DX6i or the Spectrum DX7 to connect two transmitters and fly one aircraft as you can see this is the uh, trainer port right here on this transmitter you just need to bind the main the uh, trainer transmitter to the master and the trainee to the slave right here so one receiver can be bound to two transmitters at a time for trainer function which is very neat this is your input select you can assign your aux to switch and your gear switch I have assigned my gear switch to gyro swash type well in heli mode you uh, have three swash plate types that is one servo two servos 180 degrees three servos 120 degrees three servo 90 degrees uh, in acro mode you would actually get a uh, wing type and that's three wing modes So that's it for the main page. And for the airplane guys, uh, you can select um, three wing modes that is V tail, delta, and uh, flapron. So I'm gonna go out of the main menu. So this is your uh, channel reversing page where you can reverse any of the seven channels as required. The subtrim menu, the travel adjust menu to set the throws of your transmitter or uh, servos. This is the elevator to flap mix, aileron rudder mix. The flap system. So here's where your three position switch is helpful as you can see as I flip my switch it changes over the throttle idle program mix basically you get six program mix in acro mode and in heli mode you get only three the timer and the monitor the servo monitor the channel monitor And this is your uh, dual rate and expo page where you can set your dual rate and expo curves right here. Another neat feature is that there is individual ele elevator dual rate, aileron dual, ra dual rate and up here is the rudder dual rate switch. Also your gear switch and your three position flap switch and this is your 7 channel that's aux 2 you can assign anything to this
A neat feature is the digital trims. As you can see the tone keeps on increasing as you go to the extremities. So as you can see this um, receiver uses two antennas one is vertically pol polarized and one is uh, horizontally polarized antenna and as you can see all seven, cha seven channels plus a battery port and a SIM port basically I find no cons in this radio no cons absolutely but as a matter of personal preference uh, there are a few things that I would like to see in this radio or rather miss in this radio and uh, things basically like a backlight function uh, well as you can see the LCD is quite clear but in low light conditions it gets uh, really hard to see so the backlight function would be great and uh, also the receiver well I tried mounting this receiver on my uh, 450 Pro but due to the extra channels that is the same the battery and including the aux 2 which as per this is a 7 channel receiver this receiver just turned out to be too big for my 450 and I think I'm going to mount this on my 500 what I would like to see is um, 6 channel receivers another thing that I found missing and that's not a con basically but my preference is that uh, this receiver only supports 6 volts anybody any guy uh, running helis and running high voltage setup would need 8.4 volts to 8.2 volts and uh, this receiver doesn't go above 6 volts so anybody going to 8.4 volts might actually burn up this receiver right here comparing these two uh, radios that the Spectrum DX6i and DX7 I mean sorry the RCB7X the RCB7X has a ton load of features that this Spectrum DX6i does not obviously this is a DX6i a 6 channel radio and a 7 channel radio but this radio right here has a little bit more features than uh, the DX7 also another thing that would be nice is that to include a 10 model memory or a memory card slot for additional memory for guys having more than 7 models but that's again just a uh, personal preference and not a con in the radio as far as I can see I, I just love this radio as it, it, it has features more than my DX6i and a uh, price, price to feature ratio is just too great you, you can't go wrong with the uh, RCB7X as the features are just too good and uh, the price that's 4.5k is the sweet spot actually the icing on the cake compared to my uh, Spectrum DX6i which is twice than what the RCB7X cost so as you guys can see this is a keeper and a transmitter to think about and to go forward with